What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody here for another exciting video. I'm going solo dolo and you already know what that means. I'm going crazy. Kelsey's not here to tell me, no, 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 this is a bad idea. Don't do this. So we're going full force and we're going to be ripping packs until I pull a downtown. Now before we get into today's video, which I'm very excited about, last night during our shows on Whatnot, it was insane. Not only did we pull an absolute beauty black color blast, but we also, at the very end of the night, one of our uh, one of the people in the community over there and whatnot, I don't actually really know. We don't really have a name for ourselves over there, but one of the people that hang out with us all the time and whatnot decided to say, hey, you know what? We've opened a lot of cool products. Let's keep it going. And he personaled a Donruss clearly. He personaled a Rookies and Stars hobby box. He personals Illusions hobby box. And then he finishes it off with an Obsidian hobby box. Now, the Obsidian, Obsidian, hobby, bo the Obsidian hobby box at the end wasn't the greatest box we've ever opened. And I had an open uh, box of Mega Blast or Mega Packs that we were using for giveaways. I was giving out packs kind of throughout the night. And I thought, hey, thanks so much for all that. Least I can do, I can throw you a little Optic Mega Pack, see what happens. Well, I threw the four that, were, that we had left that were loose on the table. He picked the third one, and this is what happened. Find that downtown right here. No, thank you, man. That was awesome. So as you can see, absolute chaos, absolute mayhem. The final rip of the night, we pull a JSN downtown out of Optic. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. That's what we're going to attempt to. So I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36 Optic value packs here. And the question is, can we pull a downtown? Now this might be a very expensive rip. Right, especially if we don't pull downtown, this is gonna be a very, very expensive rip because these are roughly just under twenty dollars. So if we rip, you know, thirty of these, that's a six hundred dollar video. So make sure you guys like the video down below. Drop a comment. Tell me your guesses right now. How many, how many packs is it gonna take to pull downtown? And if you aren't subscribed here, subscribe. Hang out. It's a good time. Now, if you've never opened these value packs, real quick on the back. Really not that much to them. Uh, they do have a new, uh, the one card in here that is new is the Freedom, which is going to be like the Barbershop Red and White Stripes. And then also the Green Velocity, which are very, very sweet looking. And especially if you're like a Packers fan, Seahawks fan, any green color team, it looks really, really nice on it. Uh, those are going to be the really big differences in here. You can obviously pull downtown. You can pull all the downtowns, mythicals, blazers, rookie kings as well. Uh, but no number cards out of here. So really, you're trying to hit a big, you know, CJ Stroud, um, Puka on the green velocity, and uh, hopefully it's centered well so you can you can gym it. And also, obviously, downtowns. That's what we're really... Oh. That's what we're really hunting after here. So let's see if it's possible. Can we pull a downtown from a value pack? We're going to get into it. Oh my God, I thought we did it literally the first pack. For a second, I thought we did it for the very, very first pack. And you'll see after we start ripping through some of these, you will see just how painful these are because legitimately, guys, uh, we'll take the Jordan Addison. Uh, that's pretty much the pack right there. It is 10 base cards and two hits. And by hits, I mean an insert and a rookie. And sometimes the green velocity. That is it. So not going to be a super long video, hopefully, unless we do rip every single one of these. Because there are just a lot of base cards, so not too much to talk about when it comes down to it. But let me know, have you guys been successful this year with pulling downtowns. We've been pretty good. We haven't pulled one. Uh, we do have a Freedom and a Green Velocity here. Or not to my house. It's probably like a Bijan. Um, no, Sam Howe, Freedom. Never mind. That is a Freedom. All right. 
A little Sam Howe Freedom and a Tank Bigsby there. We've been... And a BJR. We got three there. Very nice. We've been really, really fortunate with our uh, case hits out of Optic and our breaks. You know, we haven't pulled too many Mythicals. I think we've only pulled one Blazer. So we've been pulling a lot of Downtowns and a lot of, honestly, big name players too. So let me know. I have no idea why I just top-loaded that BJ, but I, I did. So that happened. But, uh, yeah, let me know how you guys, how your case hit hunts, downtown hunts have been. Because I'll say this, too. If you're not able to pick these up at retail, even these value packs, honestly, if you're not able to pick these up at retail, uh, these are very expensive. These are very, very expensive rips. And if you're not pulling downtowns, it can be extremely expensive. So let me know how that is going for you guys. All right, we're, what are we in? This is our fourth one now, I think. Number four. I think we're just going to go across the top and see. All right, we got Zay. And JSN Hollow, we'll take that. All right, a little JSN Hollow. Now, what are your guys' thoughts on this? Are you a Optic Hollow guy? Like, do you value this as JSN's best rookie card, basically? Or are you a Silver Prism person? I might be an Optic guy. I kind of like the Raid Rookie. I kind of like the Raid Rookie maybe a little bit more than the Prism. Anton Harris in there on the Green Velocity, Mims. And then a bunch of base at the end. So far, our green velocity hit rate's been decent. When I when I opened some of these, I think I opened some of these off camera a week ago or so. And I think I opened like ten of them, and I only hit three green velocities in ten packs. Which, again, if you're paying sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty dollars for these things, and you're only getting three green velocities, chain reaction, dang. There's so many inserts in here, too, that make it kind of look like a downtown. Tank Dell, Jefferson on the chain reaction. Okay. I thought that might have been it. We got to pull downtown on the channel, man. It's got to happen. We got to do it for the people. Okay, we got a green velocity. Deontay Banks. Jaden Reed. All right. We also uh, might be trying a new series once I get back out to Vegas with Sage and uh, Kelsey. We might be trying a new series. Sage just kind of came up with it, and I think it's a cool idea. So it'd be like Last Man Standing, where we would essentially each start with a certain price. All right, we're hitting a lot of green velocities. We would start with a certain price. So let's say... Let's say our budget is uh, $300. You can buy whatever product you want for $300 and then you rip that product. And then at the end, we comp out everything to see what you finished at. So if you finished at 350, if you finished at 275, if you finished at 150, whatever you finished at, that is what you then have to use for the next video. So now let's say you let's say you got $200 in cards back. Now you have $200 in the next video uh, to rip and see what you can get from that. And then it's his last man standing. Whoever can stay, Brian Young. All right, we haven't hit a big green velocity yet. Whoever can stay alive the late, the longest wins, which I think is a pretty cool idea. Very cool idea. There's another video idea that I want to do, which is kind of just open a pack and see if you win. So like a lot, lot more simple in that in that regard, uh, a lot quicker as well. So we'll we'll try to do some more series and stuff on YouTube here, uh, just to kind of keep keep it going and talk about series. Yeah, that's why I'm at 23. The black color blast and the downtown from last night. I'm at 23 now, guys. I only have two more, and heck, if I hit one right here, Jack Campbell. If I hit one right here today, I'm only gonna have one more case hit to go. I might, I might do that this upcoming week. We are gonna have to pre-record everything as well for this upcoming week because I do have a disc golf tournament in Des Moines. 
So Kelsey will be in Las Vegas all week. I will be, well, I guess she's coming back to Dallas at some point. But uh, I will be in Des Moines all week. So we will have to probably pre-record all these videos for this week. So there's a good chance that I actually might hit Steelers. Joey Porter, that's fine. That's not bad. There's a chance that I actually might hit 25 this week. Which would be awesome. All right, Joey Porter Jr. Where is this downtown? Come on. I guess, too, you guys can kind of tell by the video length. So maybe if you don't want to spoil yourself, don't look at the video length. Because if the video ends in the next 30 seconds, then we clearly pulled a downtown. A little Miles Murphy on the hollow. And if the video is like 30 minutes long, then we probably didn't pull it downtown. So there is that, which would be sad. I would be very, I'm gonna be very sad if we open all this. If we open all this and no downtown, I'll be very sad. I'll understand. I'll get it. But I'll be sad, nonetheless. But we have so many purple Zay flowers. Come on. Puka, yes. All right. Little Joey Porter Jr. there. Puka keeps us alive. That looks pretty good centered, too. That looks pretty good and centered. I like that. All right, Puka keeps us alive there. I'm actually going to... Let, uh, let me grab some of these card savers. Not a sponsor, but th these are what we use for... Um, these are what we use for PSA. So, if anyone had any questions about, like, hey, I, I want to send in cards for PSA, how do I do it? You basically put them in these guys. And then you follow all the instructions that they have on their website, and you're good to go. Let me plug my phone in, too, because uh, this video might be a little longer than I was expecting. So, let's do a little plug. Make sure we don't lose battery. I hate that my phone does that, but when I plug it in sometimes, it does some weird stuff. But we're back now. Uh, I didn't check to see if there are any dimples or anything crazy on it. I don't think so. I think that looks really clean. We're going to let that one fly. Kelsey's not here either. My watchful eye when it comes to... Um, when it comes to grading, last time she was incredible. Absolutely, we'll put those over there. Last time she was absolutely incredible. Do I want to grade anything else? Might as well take a peek. Um, I normally just like grading stuff for the PC and like the big, big name guys. That's kind of how we do it. If we're going to keep it, like. If we if it comes back and it's a nine or an eight and we're still like gonna keep it, then I don't mind grading it. But sending a card off that we're just trying to sell, dude. The chain reactions need to get the flip out of these packs. No one cares about your chain reaction, Joe Burrow. My gosh, my gosh. But that's kind of our our. Uh, strategy I guess if you will when it comes to grading is we don't like sending anything for grades that we're worried about if it comes back an eight or a nine all right that pack was trash those last two packs were kind of trash a little AR on the green velocity a Stroud on the green velocity would pretty much pay for these packs I think if it comes in a 10 we have a rookie on this one. And speak of the devil, a little hidden potential shroud. We will take that. Maybe that is a sign to come. Maybe Penny is like, you know what? Let's be really nice today. Let's put let's put a CJ Stroud downtown in an optic value pack. So that way, all those people that bought the optic value packs and got like let's just let's just assume right now you went to the store and you bought this pack. Okay? Cost you 17 bucks, 18 bucks, and you go home and you're like, for the first time, you've never opened this pack before. You're like, all right, base. Okay, base. Herman Moore, base. All right. Bruce Smith, base. Okay, Joe Burrow, base. Oh, okay, sweet. I got Dorian Williams. Nice. 
Oh, nice. Light, uh, light up Dalton Mc K Kincaid. Oh, okay. Niggers in base. Oh, wait. Is that it? Oh, wait. Did I... Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's, that's kind of like, I think, what a lot of people are doing with this product. I think it's the worst out of, by far, out of all the optic products. I think that both mega boxes are way better than this. And I think the blasters are way better than this. So it's definitely the worst. Uh, they might be getting us ready to go for optic though, hobby, which I cannot wait. We have a case of hobby and a case of H2 coming. So hopefully we get one that has a numbered downtown. That's, that's the chase in the hobby is you can actually pull the Oh, excuse me. Jeez. You can actually pull the number downtowns. All right, come on. Green Velocity. One time us here. That's Zay Flowers. Or another Puka. Oh. Tavius Robinson. Will Anderson Jr. All right. Come on. Maybe we get the error, error, error value pack. Get two downtowns and one value pack. We are getting down to the nitty gritty here, guys. We're getting close to only having 14 packs left. We're at, we're at 17 packs. So I think we actually are roughly halfway through the, halfway through the rip right here. Kalijah Cansey, Garrett Williams, and nothing else to speak of. I will say our hit rate on green velocities is very high for this batch of value packs. Very high. We did hit a, uh, a freedom early too. It'd be nice to hit another freedom. Another green velocity. Okay, keeping us alive here. Another puka. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Okay. Sorry, I gotta get, gotta get my piles all situated here. That one looks a little, so we can see between the two. That one looks a little thinner on the left than this one, this one's better centered than this one. But we might send both in just to give us a chance to where maybe like they'll say, oh, this one, this one's a little too off centered. We'll give you a nine. And then they see the one right behind it and they're like, oh, wow, that one's way better. The back's actually not bad. That one's way better centered. We'll give that a 10. And if we get one Puka nine and one Puka 10, I think that's a win. So might as well send both in. Because I don't think you can look at both of these and give both of them nines. Right? That's, that's my idea here. One looks a little bit better. This one looks a little bit better than this one. So you put them like this. They see the first one. They're like, ah, it's a little off-center nine. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what a 10 looks like. That's, that's my thought. Versus if we just sent the one that was better off, maybe they give that a nine. I don't know if I'm crazy. I don't know if that's conspiracy theory. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but sometimes that's how you have to do it. All right, let me get these piles off the table because we are filling up quickly here. All right, down to 15. Final 15 here, come on. Another one, we'll take it. Jalen Carter on the color match. All right. And another little Chad Ryland there. Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter on the color match. Still no QBs, though. Still no QBs. All right, we're going to change it up. We're going to go left to right here. We're going to start on the left side and, and, and go right and see, see if the change up is what we needed here. Another green velocity. Okay, it's gonna be Chad Ryland. Okay, no, AOC on the back. I was gonna say, did we just get the same exact pack back to back? That would have been nicer if that was a uh, back to back CJ Stroud. If there's, if we, if we had that, if we had that going for us. All right, come on. Don't do me like this, Panini. Don't you dare.
What's the uh, what's the biggest rip you guys have ever done? Like most packs you've ever ripped in one sitting. Most packs you've ever ripped in one sitting. Mr. Sanders. A little DTR. Th those are the most painful right there. I mean, we did get both rook two rookies, so that's not... I guess it could get worse if you got an insert of a non-rookie, but those feel very painful. And we got another one here. Trey Tucker, Jordan Addison. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is why Kelsey's normally here to keep me in check, to tell me that these ideas are dumb. And that the chain, react, the chain reaction is going to get you every time. Come on, man. Green velocity. It's a red. Tank Dell. All right. Chad Ryan. Wow, they really love putting Chad Ryan in these value packs. It's like the fourth Chad Ryan I hit. No C.J. Stroud, no Bryce Young, no Anthony Richardson. We have one C.J. Stroud uh, insert, but other than that, nothing else. We've gone, we've gone dry. We got them dry. Another green velocity though. Gray. What's gray? Raiders. Yeah, Jacorian Bennett there. There's an A chain. Okay. Got an A-chain. And a Jacorian Bennett. And we move on. Oh gosh, we're almost to the final row, guys. And this is starting to get scary. We at least have some more green hypers. I don't know how many we, what did we start with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 35, 36. We started 36. So we'll do a count of how many green hypers we have here. Just to kind of get an idea. We've opened, uh, when I have six left, we'll have opened 30 boxes. When I have six left, we'll have opened 30 boxes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So after these two, we'll do a count. And that will give you an idea of, you know, what's the hit rate for uh, these green velocities. Do they probably make, they probably make hitting a downtown out of these like impossible. They probably make hitting a downtown out of these things impossible. Oh boy, here we go. Needless to say, this is the last time I'm opening up this product this year. There will be no more optic value packs. Roshan's not bad. No more optic value packs in my future. This is the final stand I have with this product. It was a good run, but I'm starting to think that it's coming to the end. All right, so we have the two Pukas, and then we got three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen out of thirty. So a little bit more than one out of every two, which is way better than the last time I opened this product, which was thirty percent chance. I opened ten packs, only hit three green velocities, and there's another one too. I think the green velocity is going to be where the downtown would be. Christian Gonzalez, all right, that's solid. He's got a good fan base. Um, I think that is where the downtown would be. Right in that middle spot there. So we actually don't wanna see a green velocity. We wanna see the diamonds, the lightning, the velocity, but we want to see it be clear. All right, we got a freedom and, okay, Stroud us here. Stroudus on the Freedom SP. Oh, man, I thought we might have did it. Holy crap, I thought we might have did it. Mims on the back. And Jalen Carter. Okay. Will Anderson on the Freedom. 
Not bad. Probably a couple buck. Probably a couple bucks of cards there. Probably a couple bucks of cards. I mean, these. I will say the fact that these green velocities and this product is trash, but this is a desirable card. It's not like the card you're getting out of here sucks. So it's a very desirable card, and people don't want to rip them because of how bad of a product it is to get that desirable card. So, you know, it, it will make these cards, you know, pretty expensive to get. Like they are, they will go for a fair price. Okay, we have another one here. Come on, one quarterback here. I'll take a Bryce. Tyler Lacey, yikes. Tyreek Stevenson, oh boy. Down to our last two. You guys might be seeing the biggest L on the channel so far. If you've made it this far. And now uh, my phone ran out of space. So that's going for us. A lot of factors here. A lot of things trying to hold me back. And a lot of things trying to make it to where I'm not going to hit a downtown right here. But against the odds, can we do it? Uh, this is going to be a retro series, I think. Douglas. Sap. Sap. Well, like I was saying, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. Um, hopefully, the title of this video doesn't trigger you. Because I am titling this video, Opening Optic Value Packs. Or Opening, uh, opening op Optic Football Until I Hit a Downtown. And uh, I thought we were going to do it. And we just ran out of product. We, ran, we, just, we just simply ran out of product. Wow. That shows you just how hard it is to hit a downtown out of value packs. All right. 36 value packs. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea... If you get a case of Optic Football Blasters, that is 20 boxes. And if you're able to find those in store, they're about $35 a piece. So that means you can pretty much, for what we just paid there uh, in boxes, you can pretty much get probably close to 14 blasters for how much product we just opened. Because we did 36 36 at, let me just do the math real quick. Let's see here. 36 at, oh no, you can do literally, yeah, it's almost reversed. We opened 36 packs. That's pretty much how much a uh, blaster costs, right? And so you can open 18 blasters and there's 20 blasters in a case. Don't open value packs. These are bad, 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 bad. Do not open them. If you're walking through the store and that's the only thing on the shelf and you want to grab one, uh, just be prepared to be very disappointed. Um, now I will say we got, I think we did get lucky. We hit like two freedoms, which was nice and really didn't hit that many hollows. I think we only hit one hollow, which was JSN, which is actually not bad either. Um, I mean, Miles Murphy was a hollow. I guess we definitely hit a couple hollows. But um, hit a lot of green velocities, which was nice. No big name guys, though. None of the top, top guys other than two Pukas. That's what we're really leaving this with. Now, if both of these Jim meant 10, that will put a little bit of a dent into this video. But like, uh, like the Tiger King said, I might not financially recover from this. And uh, if the channel now is dead... Moving forward, do not blame Silver Sage. Do not blame Kasich Kelsey. You can blame the Pack God right here for killing the channel for trying to hit a downtown out of op Optic Value Packs. Probably the stupidest idea I've ever had. But you live and you learn. And maybe I'll be back to find another day. Sorry, guys. Really wanted to pull it downtown today. Did everything I could. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.